Hey guys, so I tend to um, yeah, ignore that pimple. I have to pop it later. <laughs> anyway, I am. I, I tend to do these in the car, huh? And I think it's probably because this is the most downtime I really have through the day. But I wanted to admit failure to you guys. I smoked two cigarettes last night. Um, and the night before that, I had a half a one. So the reason that I did the happy was because I wanted to see if all of these physical elements that I have been having would go away. And they did almost immediately. Um, the anxiety went away. The, the hoarse voice went away. The, um, the insomnia that I had the night before that went away. So. In that mix, um, I was talking to somebody who is a um, addiction therapist person, and they informed me that every single time you slip up, it starts over, and it takes nine days for these symptoms to actually go away. Um, or at least for everything to be out of your system. So here I thought, three days, the nicotine's gone. Nope, and I didn't think smoking just one cigarette would make you actually throw you into a relapse, right? Well, it does, I guess. Um, he would know, because he's an addiction therapist, where I am not, and I'm not educated when it comes to that. But, so this morning I woke up, and mind you, like, I get anxious anytime I have to drive out of town. And I was in Boulder City, and I didn't drive home until this morning. And I did well. Like, I didn't have to take any pill or anything. But all day today, I've been having to take deep breaths. Um, I'm a little anxious, I can tell, because of how fast I'm talking and how fast I have been talking today. I'm not centered right now at all. Um, and I'm wondering if it's because I smoked two cigarettes last night. I don't know. And I've really wanted to have a cigarette today. And I'm not gonna, but I really want to. So, I, what I want to tell you guys is that even when we slip up, there is still hope. Like, that failure is still a step forward at you actually completing quitting. Um, so, I'm going to start over. I'm going to start from day one because that's all I can do. So, this is technically day one of quitting smoking all over again. So this is like my 50th day one, right? In my whole entire journey of quitting smoking, this is where I'm at. And I'm gonna have to embrace it because I was the one who picked up that cigarette. And today's difficult because I do really want one, but I'm not gonna go buy a pack, so I'm not gonna have one. And I'm home now, so I'm not around smokers. Um, but nine days, guys, nine days. And so I have not actually made it a full nine days without nicotine because I've had the vape and it's like I've had one cigarette a week for the last two or three weeks, I think. Um, I don't know. My brain's all over the place. I'm hungry, so I'm not really focused this morning. So, and that kind of brings me on to another topic. So, I'm going to be starting a 60-hour fast that I was actually supposed to start last night. However, I wasn't home to start it. And this morning when we left Boulder City, I got a coffee. So, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to start tonight because I was supposed to start last night. So, I'm just starting a day late. No big deal. Um, I'm going to journal that on here for you all as well. And my goal the last time that I did a fast was that I would be a non-smoker when I did it again. And so I, I reached that goal. And I have a new 12-week um, challenge that I'm doing. And that is 12 weeks every day. You have to do something to better yourself. So I have already been to my... Um, I, I don't want to call it physical therapy, but it is physical therapy because it's it's somebody that I know that is in the fitness industry that knows what he's doing and I'm paying him to really help me build my smaller muscles because my smaller muscles are not engaging all the way. And so we believe that that is what has caused a lot of my back pain and a lot of the burning sensations that I've been having. And so I really want to get down to the bottom of that and get that out of the way. Um, I will be journaling that as well. So I'll be posting probably three to five videos a day for 
the next three months um, because I'm doing so many different things. Like, I'm all over the place. And I've always been one to be all over the place. Like, it's always been who I am. And I'm embracing that now because I really don't have a choice. Like, I'm 41 years old and it's never changed. So, might as well just take it, right? <laughs> So anyway, I just wanted to give you guys that update. I wanted to admit to you, if I, I was defeated and I picked up a cigarette and that is okay because failure, at least you're failing because you're trying, right? Like you're, you're failing forward. I'm still not smoking today and two cigarettes in a week is better than 20 cigarettes a day. Um... I don't want to smoke at all. I don't want to be a smoker, but at the same time, that mindset's back of, I really wish I could just fucking smoke and not have the smell and not have the health elements that come along with it and not have all the consequences of said smoking. So, I can't. You can't. None of us can. And we know this. Um, so let's stay strong for each other. Let's stay strong together. And let's do this stuff. So fail forward if you fail at all. And if you don't, I'm really proud of you. You all have a great day.